Well, thanks for letting me help you try to find some money and help with real estate. <laughs> it, it's kind of, it seems to still be an industry in this country, you know, in the long run. It seems to be a, a terrific investment, particularly if you live there, man. I mean, that's what I really like about it. If you're living there, then uh, that makes so much more sense, you know, uh, because you're doing something, you know, for you that you're getting something out of it, too. And that's why, boy, where you live, I mean, you can invest in like one to four unit apartments and stuff or, or buildings or whatever, live in one and, and, and make uh, an investment out the other three because see a lot of government programs are really just for you to live in i mean there's some for investing and stuff like that uh but that's what makes it nice uh i think where you live now let's, let's go to the city okay um now the city there you have that they have, they have a down payment money there zero percent interest you know to cover down payment and closing costs and whatever <laughs> and, and no interest that's why you know, chase or any of these banks are going to give you that you know but they do and you could you know purchase one to four unit buildings you know uh <laughs> <laughs> and that seems like a man, a, a wonderful way to start investing, you know, in, in real estate. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, where, where did I go? I got the wrong one here. Uh, let's see what else we have because we have a broken down. And, and by the way, you know, this report, <laughs> there's two videos. There's another video. I even have a different suit on in <laughs> a different place uh, that, you know, just to break it up because this runs in, a, you know, 20, 30 minutes for the whole thing. Uh, so it's easy to get bored just watching me and, and when you the, the trick to using this report now I went through and researched all the programs in your area that you could take advantage of both federal state local uh, and and then also what's available on the internet you know through crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending and um, uh, you know the shared economy all that stuff that's a value you know available to all of us now and that's even easier than the government stuff so that's why make sure you get into that and when you you use any of these sources you know particularly government programs you really have to contact the office I mean that's the, that's where you're gonna get the most out of this thing when you contact that office because you know even though I did all the research there'll be stuff that's not even on the internet or nobody knows about yet and that's the, the value of researchers following up on a lead it's like like detective stories you know they knock on all the doors and and something falls out of the tracks or the cracks they don't even know about you know? And, and so that's what all of research is like that the good stuff comes by accident so it's following up on this which is the best possible places to start and then the gold nuggets come out of there so don't forget to follow up on this stuff because there's better stuff hiding behind it uh, okay so that's that's the first one next one a free home buyers workshops so your city is giving workshops on buying homes right <laughs> they're free <laughs> that's what's so neat about it i mean we go to these seminars that charge you five hundred dollars or whatever how to invest in real estate blah, 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 blah. And, and here's free seminar okay check your home is safe for lead poisoning that's a local program because that that's very important because if you have a house or going to buy a house you know that was built you know like before the 70s i think Thing when they stop using lead paint poison I mean kids are eating this stuff and whatever and messes up their brains so there's a government program to make sure that doesn't happen again now your city also has something uh, free help for tenant and landlord disputes and really they help for a lot of things so if you have an apartment you know building or, or whatever or you're renting out to somebody and, and you need some help as a landlord and you don't know what to do then you could turn to them too because they give they know laws and what, what to do and things like that so it beats how and lawyers and, and if you're a tenant and you got some miserable landlord this is where to go to too because they know the laws and they could crack down and nobody could bullshit you about what you know this is real but uh, you go to the horse's mouth that's why to me interpret no you go to the horse's mouth and find out because see, the horse's mouth is usually the government because they write all the laws so why go to an attorney or something like that is going to charge you two hundred dollars an hour <laughs> to go learn the law for you you know, or or you go to the person who wrote the law you know and, and they're free uh, okay discounts on rent for lower income families this is you know the rent subsidies housing for people or tenants pay only 30 percent of income for rent see this is another thing too you as if you have apartments or or houses or something for let you could get them on that list and, and then the uh 
uh, government pays the rent of your tenants, you know, and that's a more secure rent sometimes, you know, because they're paying. Okay, so get the government to pay rent for your tenants. See, there's where to find out about that. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of the city, and that's normal. Actually, I've been running to some cities down in Florida, man. They got so much stuff. Florida is like a real estate <laughs> bonanza uh, for government program. So county here. $50,000 for one to three units at 0% interest for down payment or to make your mortgage lower. So you could use that 50K, you know, <laughs> because maybe you don't need the down payment money for some reason. And instead of getting a $300,000 mortgage, you only get a $250,000 mortgage. So that really brings down your, your payments a lot. So that's what you could do uh, with that. And that's a county program, home improvement money. Fix up. There's a lot of home improvement money around, you know, for that. So that's why, you know, if you're buying property to, to flip and things, look for that home improvement money. And that's why a lot of home improvement money cause you, requires you to live there at least for a short period of time or a couple of years or something like that and, and they even forgive it you know uh so that's why if you have one to three units you know so you're living in one and, and making money out of the other two is a pretty good deal property tax deduction for seniors and people with disabilities that is that program home modifications and minor repairs for people with disabilities they come and fix your house for free <laughs> yeah. uh, rehab and reconstruction services for nonprofit organizations i mean there's also so many little cracks and weird things you never know to ask about because they don't show up in google this is stuff that doesn't show up in google because they don't charge money the people you see in google are, are the people who are spending a lot of money to find you because they want to make sure they're on the front page uh and the people these are people don't have any money you know, to find you because they they give their money away to you okay free help paying water phone and utility bills so anybody has problem with utility bills you help them rental assistance programs that try to help pay your rents you know and they're the they're the programs there free and low-cost legal services you know you, you 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 know you hear the ads on tv you got a phone you got a lawyer all those people are going to charge the hell out of you well there's people do this stuff for free you know but they don't charge so they don't have money to advertise so there i'll show you where they are well here's a money to pay the first month rent and back months rent now, could you imagine there's actually, yeah, I'm behind three months on my rent. This is what they do. They help with situations like that. Okay. Uh, make an appointment with a housing council. This is the first thing you do. You're thinking of buying a house. Man, uh, I, I show you the people, how to find people anywhere in the country. Here's somewhere in your area. Find some close to your zip code. You know, if you don't like them, go somewhere else, you know, because it doesn't matter. You, you want to find somebody that you could relate to and they can relate to you. It's all a people business. See, that's why you want to get in front of these people or whatever, because you make an appointment, they're free. See, all these people are free. They're not going to charge you anything yet because they get grants money already from the government to help you. See, if you go on the internet, and Google, you know, for help for mortgages or debt or something like that, man, you're going to get somebody who's going to make money off of you. <laughs> That's why they're on Google. These people aren't on Google uh, because it's too expensive to get to a place on Google that, that you find them. So that's why, you know, you have to go somewhere else to find the good stuff. And that, that's what I'm trying to do is teach people about this other stuff. And I have videos here of people who, who I've interviewed who provide these services. So you can watch the uh, interviews of people who provide this. Now here's another thing, if you're a vet, you know any vets, make sure they know about this, the county uh, veteran service offices, because people who use them to get housing or fix up housing or education business get twice as much money as anywhere else these people are so good at using the system you know for vets or for anybody but they can't do it they have to do vets or relatives or things like that so if you're not related to a vet or something and they have a video there that shows you that okay now here, here's something else you're, you're looking for getting the real estate business or you just want to be a freelancer or maybe you want to put your home on airbnb any kind of problem or question you have in something that you're trying to make money at these people help you for free. <laughs> That's right. You know, if you look for management help or accounting help or uh, uh, you know publicity help, how do I get publicity? Or anything? No, they're going to charge it. They don't charge anything. They're already getting government grants, you know, to do this for free. And here's your local office there, that, you know, that that will you know you just call them up, make an appointment. You know, it, it's just I think it's a 
the best deal you know our country has when i was help doing this stuff for fortune 500 companies man i go to these people all the time i go there get all this stuff and then sell it to my you know fortune 500 companies for thousands of dollars and i was getting it for free yeah <laughs> that's right trade. the average person should know about this stuff too you know rich people are lazy they don't want to get it so they'll pay anything to get it you know? uh, okay here is the most important thing i think you have to learn in all this is how to use 211 this is a database and a hotline a phone number you could call any time of day or whatever you 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 know looking for help with your business you're looking for help you know buying a house or paying your rent or anything this is a database of just free stuff in your area that's right that's all that's in their database is free stuff you know <laughs> so it's nonprofit organizations government offices things like that that help communities see it's buried if you go to google it, you'll never find it like here here i have a sample here i'll show you if you go to google and put in mortgages okay so you get you see 127 million 127 million mortgages wow you're not going to live long enough. All the stuff here you see the people selling your money. <laughs> That's all it's all about. And then there's other people, what they do, they write pretend articles, which are really just to take you to some place that they sell you something. You know? uh, but if you use the 211 search or call them, you know, there's about 500 results. Now you could, but it, it, see, they have a category nicely, you know, all these results. So low cost for sale homes, sweat equity program mortgage payment assistance look at the 20 or 30 categories uh, you know rent payment assistance housing expense assistance supportive housing uh, housing search assistance uh, homeless shelters assistant living facility and, and in there are really all the free good stuff home repairs 33 in your county 33 organizations that do home repairs for free. That's, I mean, it's an incredible resource. Always go there and then call again, because people who on the phone will know the database better than we could try to guess what is this registered under. That's why Google, that's why we're the question marks. Through. You know, the information is all out there. You have to ask the right questions. So if you go to Google, look at what you get when you put in mortgages, you know, 127 million you know, uh, things and you don't know the question because some, some bean counter is putting this data in based on they're guessing what you're looking for or how to frame it. Yeah, there's too much going around. Yeah. That's why it really takes experts. It really takes talking to people and stuff like that. Home repairs. We showed 33 financial assistance, 250, you know, uh, organizations in your County area there that give out free financial assistance, you know, like utility, service payment assistance, gas payment assistance, medical care expenses, uh, rent payment assistance, look at all those things there. That's right in your area, you know, utility bills. There's 200 just on your utility. Emergency assistance, here, here's a program, you know, your government there for emergency assistance. When people who have an emergency, they're low income people, you know, you get, you know, sometimes if you have a, uh, bills you can't pay or they're going to, you know, close your heating or you can't get to work because of a car, you know, problem you can't get fixed. Now the library here, I show you the library where you are because people don't realize how good that stuff is. There's research librarians there on staff, all they've asked a librarian. You could go to ask a librarian, text them or whatever, what you're looking for. See, they know the local stuff. You know, that's what's neat. They know a lot about the stuff that's not in Google because they're part of the community that creates this. And that's what's so good. And see, what's neat about librarians, somebody already asked them the question. See, you're getting this problem the first time in your life. Yeah. How many times are you going to buy a house? Two, three, four, whatever. Kind of so it's the first time. Yeah. And so, but, but people who do this all the time. So you're asking this question, uh, you know, the first time in your life, uh, this reference librarian, she said people all over the community worked there 10 years. She's answered this question, you know, dozens of times and know where the source is it because she sees, Hey, people want for that. So she keeps her mind open. Okay. There's how to do it. Uh, also a lot of times what the public library does is, is help you set up something you, like your own business on the internet. You know, I mean, you're a little afraid of, of setting it up. 
you walk in, make an appointment, and you do it with the librarian because they do this all the time. And it's easy. I have a video there. Now, I don't know if your library does it, does it but a lot of libraries do it. And there's a video there uh, explains how they do it. Okay, now there's another neat thing at the library you can't get anywhere else is access to the some of the best databases of, of grants from nonprofits. See, what I'm showing you, most of this stuff is not even grants. You know, it's grants. You think grants is free money, but it's not. It's more technical than that. And most of grants, uh, see, like here, I'm talking about money you don't have to pay back. You know, and things like that, or direct payments that, that do the service for you, or, or free legal help. So instead of coming up with a grant for, for to pay for legal help, people do it for free. <laughs> so you don't even need money. You know? But grants are traditionally for nonprofit organizations and stuff like that. So that's why they come from the foundations. And there's a big set of books from the Foundation Center that keeps track of all this. They're very expensive. I mean, they charge you like $1,500 a year to use them. <laughs> but the library has them. You could use them for free. So contact your library and find out, hey, where in the library system can I use this for free? And, and they usually, every, each library has a librarian who knows how to use it. And they could help you and things like that. Uh, and there's one database just of 10,000 private grants for individuals. And then there's another one with 140,000 organizations that give out grant money. These are foundations. And the other thing about foundations, as you see here, only 90% you know, of the foundations don't even have a website. So you don't find them when you're looking you know, on the internet. Okay, here's some interesting things I found recently too. How to get internet access at home for uh, low, you know, very low. I got nine dollars. I think I paid fifty bucks or something, you know, to Verizon here. Uh, and, and this is for lower income or you, there's income requirements. So you got to check out the income requirements. Here, are free C cell phones and five hundred free minutes per month. Contact them. See if it's available in your area and uh, uh, if you qualify for that. So there's three or four there. Free cell phones and three hundred. 50 minutes a month discount and low income on landlines and cell phone you know and, and that's available so that's why there's so many ways to do things you know and options in life that we really don't know it's a big complicated life out there uh, okay state programs government help for your income property that's right if you have income property they help you uh, market it and get your customers and pay for the rent on the customers things like that here's fifty thousand dollars to pay back overdue mortgage payments that's right if you're afraid about making your mortgage you know and uh, you know you haven't made it in a couple of months your state gives you up to fifty thousand dollars so you don't have to go and face foreclosure to pay back that uh, mortgage I mean that's just astounding to me you know that we have that uh, it's pretty cool but I'm biased or whatever you don't trust me don't trust anybody you gotta find out stuff for yourself rental assistance program while you fix up your home that's right <laughs> so something happens to your home or something you, and you have to live somewhere else while they fix it up here's a program it pays for that rent for you <laughs> it's just crazy yeah. subsidized mortgages for one to four uh, family homes uh, tempers ten thousand dollars is zero percent interest just for water a better get better water for your home zero percent interest and forgivable loans for down payment forgivable loans why the hell they say that because see what they do they it's zero percent interest but they want you to stay a couple of years so if you don't stay the, the time you have to pay back the money if you stay Day, you know yeah they forgive it uh, below market interest rate mortgages uh, here's another home buyer mortgage program special mortgages for police and firefighters that's right uh, and for even to live in certain areas. Now, here's another thing for banks. Banks have, 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 have government programs where you put a, open a savings account in the bank, put in a dollar, and the government puts in two or three dollars. Now, this is income determinant. Find out if this is for you or not. All the banks in your state are there. Call them all up because it's a hell of a way to make money. I would borrow money somewhere else to put in there because nobody's going to triple your money <laughs> in any bank. But there you can. Yeah, this is better than Vegas. Federal programs. You're eligible for this. If you have a mortgage now, man, call this number because they'll they'll work through you, show you the new programs are up there now uh, because of the housing crisis. They're trying to get people lower mortgages, lower rates, lower payments, everything. And don't go and Google for that information because you get somebody selling you something. These people aren't selling you anything. So get the facts first before you go deal with the sharks. You, we can't stand up against them because a shark, somebody selling you something, thinks about 
about that stuff every minute of their day and trying to find out what to say to make you buy that sucker. <laughs> and so you don't stand a chance. 50% off on certain homes. And actually, this is for teachers and stuff like that. So look at that program. Uh, HUD sources to buy new homes in Jer Jersey. HUD, HUD homes for sale. Uh, and actually, it's not only the HUD homes, but Veterans Administration, everybody's got homes that nobody's paying on that you could make deals on. Free independent uh, counseling to help you with reverse mortgages. That's another government program. Experts are out there that get government money. If you're thinking about a reverse mortgage before you talk to anybody selling you one of those things, talk to these people because people are getting screwed with these reverse mortgages. You want to make sure you know the facts before you get in the shark tank, <laughs> so to speak. Single family housing repair loans and grants in New Jersey. You know, it's, uh, direct loans for New Jersey and then guaranteed loans for New Jersey. You know, uh, and you know, now we're going to start into the, um, uh, the internet stuff, the peer-to-peer -peer and crowdfunding and, and shared economy stuff. And I also show you how to get some legal uh, problems solved. So stay tuned for part two that's coming up. Okay, now let me go over some of the, let's say, non-government money sources and the non-money government sources <laughs> for housing. Okay, first is is peer-to-peer peer, peer, -peer loans. I mean, everybody knows that you know the traditional loans. You know, you go to the bank and and you know to give them money to lend to somebody other, you know, money, and they make a lot of money. They make middle, and if you go to the bank to borrow money, you get charged a lot, and if you go to bank to save money, <laughs> you don't get much. So that's why these peer-to-peer -peer loans that are now popping up on their website, man, I think this is going to revolutionize everything. Not overnight, but it's growing. I mean, there's billions and billions of dollars now here, uh, and it's a place to get money without with cutting out the middleman. In other words, so if you go to a bank and, and put in a dollar or something, they're only giving you like 1% nowadays on, on your money. You know, and then if you go to borrow, they're charging you 10, 12% or something like that. So now on these peer-to-peer -peer loans, what happens is that uh, individuals go to the website and lend money to people, but in mass, so that you get 100 people lending you $10,000 or something like that. And so they're getting three or 4%, and you're only getting charged like four, five, 6%, 7% or something like that. So that's right, everybody's winning, you know, except the fat cats of Wall Street, who are the investors in the banks, you know, and it makes it just a lot more personal and everything. So that's why I think there's a lot of reasons why this is going to grow. So I got some of the more popular ones. A lot of these are for businesses and things like that, for small businesses, large businesses, and, uh, that people use them, individual loans. Uh, and see, what's neat about this stuff is that it, it, it's so much easier. It's faster. Yeah. And also here's the banks, you know, for community development uh, financial institutions. These banks are banks, but they're friendly community banks, like the old ones in the movies. You know, what was that movie with Jimmy Stewart, you know, <laughs> uh, where he had a little community bank and everybody was borrowing money from them and the bank was going to go bankrupt and everybody's going to lose their house. Well, that's how these banks work. You know, they're involved in the community. Not They're not invested because of, you know, they have to uh, make people on Wall Street happy. It's the community. So that's why they're friendlier. They're nicer. They're lower interest rate. Okay. Also, you can make a lot of money from your home from the shared economy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you read about this, but this is really taking over so much of our, our world now because of the internet. It's a way people are using the internet to do things themselves, make extra money, cut out middlemen. You know, nothing's traditional anymore. This is why more people are earning money, you know, part-time on the internet and stuff like that than traditional jobs now, it seems. And that seems to be the way things are going. And they're piecing together different kinds of income. Well, now with a home, that's that's an asset. You become now a capitalist because you own a home or even rent an apartment or anything. You could act like a capitalist <laughs> and make money from the fact that you own a home, not just your labor, you know, or you're at a home or you have a place. You know. And one way is through Airbnb. 
I don't know if you know about this, this is like instead of hotels, people are using Airbnb. This only started like five years ago or so, you know, and, and now they're they're a bigger company than any of the big hotel chains. They're they're probably the most valuable company. That, <laughs> they're more valuable than any hotel chain. They're something like $50 billion now. It depends on who you count, some like 40 or whatever. I mean, Hyatt Hotels is only like 13 billion. But see, what's interesting about Airbnb, they have only like, Two or three thousand employees. Hyatt Hotel has like one hundred and thirty thousand employees, or something like that. Yeah, but Airbnb is making money for like a million people, and now I've read like a million and a half people. So it's a way to make money. Like we make a bunch of money off our apartment that we have in Washington D.C. just because we have an apartment. Yeah, we put on Airbnb, and see these platforms take care of everything. You don't have to worry about collecting money. You don't have to worry about insurance. You don't have to worry about marketing. They do it all. You know, and it's amazing. And so now it's sort of like becoming a, 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 a entrepreneur with training wheels or something like that. Yeah. It's a great way so now because you have a home you know uh, you have an extra room you can make money I mean, people are making five hundred dollars a month or whatever you yeah, off an extra room uh people are, are putting tents in their backyard even and renting that out uh, actually it's called airbnb because, because people started with an air mattress in their living room renting that out yeah and, and so there's all ways to make money look at that i got an article there about how to use it or, or how to be an airbnb host or how to how to get money it costs you nothing to try see that's the other thing none of this this stuff now costs any money to try to make money at. That's what's neat. Most of these, you know, schemes or whatever that were on the internet and everything, they wanted money from you. That's how they made money, was getting money from you. You know, here it costs nothing to try. And you only give them a small percent after you get the money. And they collect the money, they check out the money. Yeah, they do all, all the hard, you know, uh, nonsense stuff. You know, that most of us don't like doing. And that's why this is growing so fast. Okay, then another way through pets. Pets is another way. And I'll show you how I do that. People make a hundred thousand, I mean, a thousand dollars a month or so extra because they have another puppy around or something like that for a few days, you know. And, and because there's a growing business in the pet business, there's a website that shows you how to do it, you know. And, and, and just sign up and so sign up and see what happens. You know, if you have room, you don't have to be a house owner. Uh, you know, you can be a renter or an apartment renter and do this. Make money from your parking space when you're not using it that's right just park <laughs> people space i mean that's a you're, you're like a wall street fat cat making your money make ma money so here you can make your assets make money that's what's neat about it or right, here's one for pet lovers there's more about pet lovers. or have people over for dinner right and make money people from out of town love to have local people you know and this is not become a big business so if you like cooking for people <laughs> you can make money at it have friends over for dinner it's not thousands of people like you know a bus drives up to your house you know a nice couple or two couples from yeah <laughs> from somewhere you never heard of <laughs> have dinner with you <laughs> and they're happy to spend money <laughs> that's it now here's another thing is crowdfunding that's another thing you know to make money um uh, and i'll show you soon in real estate but but it's used for anything anything this is now one of the biggest things that's up to 34 billion dollars or whatever they're given last year and, and it costs nothing you don't have to pay the money back it's free to do see that's nothing all this stuff is free no income requirements no credit check you know uh, you keep the money forever no complicated business forms no business plans no lawyers no accountants all this stuff when you go out and try to get money for doing anything that's what you usually had to do it's fast you know and there's no fat cat gatekeepers nobody's selling it they say well you can't do this you know, nobody's going to buy this. That nah, doesn't matter. You go on the crowds, and the crowds tell you, and it costs nothing to do that. So you know for sure, you know, uh, and you don't do it until they give you the money. Now, I have a, a, I have a video there that shows you how to set up a, a website. You have to remember it costs nothing. Some of these websites only co take 20, 30 minutes to do. I have samples of people do this, you know, uh, startup money. They get like a half a million dollars, and they don't even need a product no product hey i'm gonna do this you guys interested <laughs> and if they say yes they give money and then you collect enough money okay i got enough to do it now i'll come back next year send you the product well, that's crazy isn't it i mean would you go to macy's and have them <laughs> walk in here's money i'll be back next year and pick up the product that's what people are doing on the internet why 
doesn't matter why it's there <laughs> you you're looking for a way to survive this is a tool these are all tools tools now in our society there's dozens of people here i show you my videos here. So i've interviewed like 700 people have done this yeah. uh, also now you could use it for buying a home too crowdfunding money now here i have some articles what i did is i took articles that are out there that i reviewed and everything uh they seem a good place to understand how to do it for, for buying a property, fixing up property, and things like that, how doing it. Then I show you uh, websites that are just for that. I mean, the major websites, have you heard of like Indiegogo or um, uh, GoFundMe and places like that? You know, they're not specific for, for housing. But these that I show you are for housing. So that's sort of interesting. You try both. I don't know what works. Nobody knows what works. You can ask all the advice you, you want. And, and until you try it, you really don't know. Okay. And also for investments. People want to flip homes. That's a big idea nowadays. Well, crowdfunding you could use for that. People are doing that now. Even the, the, the big time, you know, flippers or whatever. <laughs> flippers. Wasn't that a TV show or something? Or <laughs> whatever. And uh, uh, they're using it because it's a new way it's a faster way it's a better way <laughs> it's a fun way to get the money you need instead of talking to some stuffy banker you know uh, and that's what they have a video of, of a woman who runs one of these sites you know that people use for flipping houses and things like that a couple articles and like and then I show you other websites that do to do that now another thing that people really meetups meetups are very popular now you know that, that people get together in groups and talk about stuff or whatever well now I mean, you go to any city, I mean, there's a hundred, they're, they're like AA meetings, you know? but they're for everything. I mean, you go down, uh, uh, I did it for your city, I did one, and, and you just put in like business and uh, careers or something, and you'll see dozens and dozens, depending on the city, how many there are. And find one for real estate investors. There'll be one, there'll be two, there'll be a dozen, there'll be 20, there'll be 50 or whatever. And just show up. Eh, it costs $20 for a cheap meal or something like that. You know, and that's it. But you find other real estate investors. If you don't know about this stuff, what you're probably doing is going online and, and searching Google, you know, and looking for how to invest in real estate or something. And, and you'll get some huckster like me who will try to sell you something. <laughs> and you don't have to do that yeah and why because then it's painful it costs a lot of money they have courses now thousands of dollars worth donald trump was selling them for like twenty thousand dollars or something how to invest in real estate you go to a meetup <laughs> and actually by the way he started his whole uh empire with a um, uh, government property in Cincinnati, yeah, <laughs> the ones I showed you about up uh, uh, earlier, and and so you could go to these groups and find out how other people are doing it. And then you have a friend who's in the business who's doing it. Other people like that that could help you know exactly what's going on in your area because they pr probably already tried it and failed. So that's a better way to learn, you know, than spending thousands of dollars on, on some course or whatever. And, and who the hell knows what you get. <laughs> Trump's getting sued like hell out of these things. Yeah, I mean, all that. Yeah, I was involved and I saw all this stuff happening, all these get rich quick schemes. <sighs> yeah, it just takes effort and the knowledge is there. Uh, and it's just putting it to work and trying and trying and trying. Oh, here's another thing it's fat cats, angels. And you could go, I mean, what's neat about the internet too is that it, it, it's getting everybody in a barrel. So all these fat cats that are out there want to invest in stuff. They're now all online. They're looking mostly, most of these websites, I'll show you like angels.co, uh, they, they they're looking for companies or techie stuff or some kind of small business going. But real estate, I'm sure they'd be interested. You gotta find somebody, but at least you have, like here, for your state, you know, there's over seven, you know, there's four or 5,000 people in your state, fat cats interested in investing in ideas they're right there. Wow. I mean, there are all their contact information is there. I and mean, before when I was growing up, you had to you know, belong to the country club or something like that to find uh, help like this or, or get in touch with these people or beat on them or whatever it is. And there's other websites that have similar kind of thing. And then here's what I put in. This is where, you know, government offices that, well, they don't give out money, but they can get your money back. Yeah, because so many people get screwed nowadays. You know, uh, people who don't treat you right and stuff like that. I mean, uh, or you don't know your rights, and everybody thinks you have to spend five hundred dollars an hour or two hundred dollars an hour, whatever lawyers cost anymore, and you know to get justice, but you don't. 
you could get the best attorneys in the world to work for you for free. You just have to learn the system. And they're there and they have to fight for you. That's what they're there for because they regulate that industry. So it's the cops. See, every business, everybody has cops that they have to report to and you find those cops and they come down and even if you the customer are wrong they have to investigate anyway so uh, uh that's what they so you have power in the system this way otherwise if you don't know about this you have no power to me because you have to spend you know five hundred a thousand two thousand dollars on a lawyer to get back at somebody because they'll just say no i'm sorry or whatever and get a letter from their lawyer and and their lawyers even if you get your lawyers are going to be better than your lawyer, you go, they do this all the time, you know, but nobody's good. It's sort of like you getting a letter from the IRS that you owe them, you know, $75. So even if the IRS is wrong, you probably pay them, right? <laughs> Just to get it off your back. Well, for business, it's the same way. You know, the insurance company gets a letter that you they owe you $500 or you say they owe them $500. It's cheaper to pay you the $500 than to talk to that bureaucracy for the next three months or whatever the hell it is and possibly lose and, and be fined or be thrown out of business. They have too much to lose by screwing with the government. It's easier to pay you off. So banks are that way. Real estate brokers are that way. You know, insurance companies companies are that way, you know, even lawyers, yeah, <laughs> there's even a pot of money, you know, in your state capital for lawyers who ran off with your money. <laughs> so we all that. And then how to check for any, uh, any professional. And then also there's a, a national bill for the Federal Trade Commission that uh, you can get, if, if bill collectors don't treat you nicely, you can get $1,000 from them. That's right. Get a thousand dollars for that. I show you how to do that. Oh, you could, it's something you could threaten from. You know, when they say, "Hey, do you know you're violating the law?" And, you know, here's the law. Look it up, and here's what I'm going to pursue. And then I show you how to get free research help on anything. You know, Google is a, a a problem. It's good. It handles a lot of stuff, but you really have to know exactly what you're looking for. Like up earlier, we talked about. You know, you put in. Uh, mortgage debt and you'll get 170 million websites or whatever and that's why uh, it's just overwhelming you don't know exactly what to ask for now it's great if you know what to ask for you're looking for Matthew Lesko right? <laughs> and then you could find everybody like me but if you're looking for money to solve a problem and you do that then Matthew Lesko will probably find you because if I spend a lot of money on Google I want to find people who have that question and I'm going to spend a lot of money on Google because I know I can maybe get money from you. See, and that's what Google is all about. If it's a place to spend money, if you want to spend money doing something, Google. Because everybody who wants to get money from you spends a lot of time and energy and money trying to figure out Google, how to make sure you see them when you go to Google. Yeah, you know, so that's what those first two videos are all about. Uh, and then I tell you about 211Org, uh, the organization I list up. It, 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 above this is I mean these are wonderful because this is a database of all nonprofit and government offices that solve problems so nobody in their database will charge you a penny wow and I, I call them the second best in the, in the world because I feel I'm the best because I'll show you a lot more because I understand more of these things <laughs> you know, than they do. Uh, uh, but this is a wonderful source and I turn to it finding something and checking things. So even on reports, if I, I miss something or whatever, they don't have a lot of stuff I have because I, I, could, I somehow have a knack of taking something that they give and they don't see how it can be used for some reason, like houses for a dollar. You know, they used to call it the Urban Homesteading Act. You know, so if you saw Urban Homesteading Act, you wouldn't know what the hell it was, right? It's a house for a dollar, right? <laughs> so, okay, your local library, people don't for, yeah, forget about that. That's wonderful. They'll do research for you. They know experts, particularly local sources for money and help. Uh, and then your elected official. Watch this video there we have on, on how to use your elected official because they are the most important source that we all have and they'll work for you for free. They want to do this for free because if they help you with something, you'll vote for them no matter what they do. You know, <laughs> they get caught with their hand in a cookie jar and as, as long as they got you a $50,000 grant or something, you'll still vote for them probably. <laughs> and they know that. This is why they stay in business. All their staff is aimed at 
doing favors for constituents, people like you who are going to vote. And they want to do that. And they have special access to government offices that you and I don't. You and I have to go in the front door. These people have a backdoor phone number to call because the government office gets paid from the congressmen and senators, the elected officials. That's where they get their money. They don't get it from us. We give it to the government and then Congress decides how to spend it. So that's why they keep everybody in Congress happy. So they, they'll, they'll answer a question and solve the problem a lot faster from them than they were with you or me. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> may not be right, may not be you know, justice or whatever. But that's what it is. And it's a system. We all have access to it, no matter who we are in this country. And that's what I'm trying to do is make sure everybody knows what's available and how to use it. Because if you don't, you're going to go on Google and think that's reality when it's not. Man, there's so much there for us all if we just start using it.